Let's take a look at the HTV Ron Auto Heat Press. Hi, and welcome to my craft room. My name is Kelsey. I also call myself Dinosaur Mama, and today we are reviewing the HTV Rond Auto Heat Press. Now, as somebody who is not really a heat transfer vinyl girl, I have to say I was very intimidated by this machine um, because I, I think the last time I made a t-shirt or layered vinyl was over a year ago. So let's jump in to the overlook of the machine and how it works. And then also we are going to layer a shirt together at the end and I will give you some of my feedback on how I feel about this machine. Let's go. So in terms of size, this machine is really compact. I want to say it's about 20 inches long and then it's only about 15 inches wide. So it is a very compact machine. And I wanna go through all of the different buttons and functions that this machine has. As soon as you turn it on with the white flashing button, it starts to heat up. So I believe it's set to like two something right when you go and turn it on, but I'm going to pause this so we can go over all of the buttons. So that's how you turn it on. It's set to 210. Now up here, you'll see our temperature button and then you use your plus and minus to change the temperature. And then right below that is your time. So you change your time with the plus and minus as well. You hit the button and then change it. Jumping down to these buttons at the bottom, you have their auto settings. So you can cycle through those, see the temperatures and then also the seconds that they provide. So these are their presets and you can Google all the different types of HTV that you would use this for. It'll go up in temperature, temperature and also up in time each time you cycle through. Next to that is going to be your custom settings. So that middle button is something that you are going to set. So you'd press this button, it's gonna go A and B between the two, and then you'll go over and hit your temperature, and then up and down, and then also your time and up and down. Now the last button is really cool on the end, it's the auto button. This is great if you are layering uh, multiple layers of HTV, so you're doing a project that has different colors. You hit this and basically every time you pull out the drawer and then put that drawer back in, it's going to just automatically start. You don't have to press the R button that I just pressed over and over again. It automatically goes. So it's very nice if you're doing a project with multiple layers, see it's starting to press. It'll press for the amount of seconds that you have already have on your setting, and then it will automatically end. You pull out your drawer, and then as soon as you press it back in and put the drawer back in, so you layer your next layer, put that drawer back in, and it will auto press again. So it really is, like almost like a hands-free machine in a way, because once you take it out and then press it back in, I'm gonna show you right here, it's on auto. I'm not pressing any buttons, just pulling out and back in, and it's automatically going and starting that timer. And then to cancel your press, you can press any button and it will cancel the press. HTV Ron also generously sent me a lot of their HTV to try out, and it cut beautifully with my Cricut Explore. I used the regular heat transfer vinyl setting, and then I did, I think I think it did everything on fast mode. This SVG file for 4th of July is free on my blog, and I will link that down below in the description as well. And I will link the full blog post to my review on the HTV Ron auto heat press if you want to head over there and read about it as well. So like I said, their HTV is great. It was really easy to weed. It cut super easily, which I've worked with some HTVs where it like doesn't, I actually have to say Cricut brand. <laughs> it is a little hard to work with that doesn't cut as easily or I put in the setting and it's not cutting all the way through. I especially find it with like their glitter HTVs but HTV Rant has a huge selection of colors um, and textures to pick from. So in terms of their HTV, I was a really big fan. So I am jumping over to my weeding. I mean, I just like watching people weed projects. This project was fun to weed. Again, you can get this SVG for free. I will link it down below. Uh, like I said, their HTV weeded really easily. I didn't have any problems with seeing anything. I didn't have any weird cuts. It was all really great. Um, and in terms of the auto heat press, 
I put it out there on my Instagram that I had gotten one and people were really excited. A lot of people were debating getting one. Is it worth the money? And so far, the only thing that I have pressed is this t-shirt. So I have to say I'm only going off of someone who is not an HTV person and I've only done one type of project. So I haven't done a bag yet. I haven't done a hoodie yet. I've only done the t-shirt. So I have to say in terms of doing t-shirts, if that's what you're getting it for, then this is a great machine. It is easy to use. It has a very big area that it is pressing. I cannot wait to try it with paper, as silly as that sounds. Like I'm really excited to use my paper projects in it because right now I only have a mini heat press. So I went from a mini heat press to having a full blown auto press and I'm excited to try my paper projects in it. So I'm setting it up right now. I did have to Google. <laughs> so I will link below. Uh, they do have a guide on their website for all of the different HTVs and what settings to use. Um, and I will link that below in the description. But I did have to Google what settings I needed for my t-shirt. And so I'm setting that up now and I didn't use the auto version here because again, this was my first time doing it. And I was so nervous. I was so, so nervous because I didn't want to mess up my project and be like, this is terrible, but I didn't, it actually worked out really well. So I had this, um, kind of extra large t-shirt, uh, that I wanted to do for 4th of July. I'm probably going to cut it up a little bit, um, to wear on the day of, and I just put it right onto the rack. You slide it out. And then remember when you're layering, you don't want to, like you can't just put this whole image down and then just do one press. You have to do each layer individually or layers that don't overlap. And make sure you are using a Teflon sheet in between. And so I press put it in and then just remember when you're using this, do a first press to heat up your t-shirt and to smooth it out. You can also use a lint roller if you want to. I did not do that this time, but that is something that a lot of people suggest doing. And so it's counting down right now and now it is releasing the press. It went for 15 seconds at 315 degrees Fahrenheit and now it is sufficiently warm and I can start my layering. I also don't have one of those little t-shirt guides, but I'm pretty sure that Jennifer Maker has a free one um, that you can download. Um, so here is my first layer and so I am just going to use my eyeballs to layer this on and Remember to mirror your projects when you do HTV. I actually like had forgotten it had been that long. I was like, do I mirror this? And I am using the Teflon sheet on every single layer and they provided this extra long Teflon sheet to me. So I'm like very happy with it because it covers exactly what I need. And all I did was press that little R button and now it's going. Now again, I didn't use that auto feature this time because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't want to mess anything up. So next time I do this, I will definitely be using the auto feature where it just keeps going. So I put the next layer and it just keeps going over and over. And so I'm pulling that out and you of course can let your clear sheet kind of cool if you want to so you don't burn yourself, but I just went for it and peeled it off and it pressed absolutely perfect. I was so excited if I had the sound on right now, you would hear me like just be so excited. It, it was so good. And so now remember for your next layer, if it doesn't overlap, you can do two layers at once, but you definitely want to, oh, look at my dog. You definitely only want to do one layer at a time. So I'm going to switch the angle here a little bit and show you, ignore my mess in the corner, but I have um, my layer going on. I already pressed the glasses and part of the bandana. And now I am going to adjust everything. I came, took it down five seconds because it was sufficiently hot. And now I'm just repressing these other layers. So here we go. I'm putting in a new angle. And I've already pressed, this will be my fourth press. So this is my final layer, my white layer. Again, I put it in and I'm going to hit the R button. And now we have our final t-shirt. I love the way it came out. I can't wait to make more projects with this and try a different kind of blank for you, like a tote bag or a sweatshirt, but overall super easy to use. Thank you so much for watching as we reviewed the HTV Ront Auto Heat Press. I hope you learned something and if you are interested in purchasing it, please don't forget to check all of the links below in the description. 
If you enjoy working with your Cricut and love free projects, then please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. That way it helps me reach more crafters and continue to make my art. Stay crafty.